This is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing Apollo 13 by Sega today at Rec Bar in Louisville, Kentucky. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first from this uh, this play field. Uh, artwork is what you would expect from uh, a game of this age. Uh, this is actually decked out for Sega games. Some Segas are good, some are bad. This one has a lot of toys and it is heavy blocked to the middle. So most of your most of your objectives are to the center middle of this table, which obviously increases your ball out potential, but furthermore adds to the difficulty of the game. Obviously, this is a moderate to high, uh, light high difficulty. Uh, as you can tell, you have your orbits going around to your columns to the back. You have another lane that kind of comes around to your pop bumpers. Multi-ball countdown, which is a rocket. It locks that ball up there and releases it. You have a lane going up to the middle with your pop bumpers. Quite a few targets to the center. And then, of course, your ramp is to the right. Uh, your blue ramp is to the right. And it is uh, it goes basically to a diverter, which will allow you to go from your left in lane to your right in lane as it diverts uh, to allow the ball to exit to your flippers. And then, of course, you have your your orbit, which is past that, which is past water. And then, of course, your video, which is where the lander is to the right, which is flashing purple. So very typical setup. Modes to the middle, of course, you have CO2 under volt, et cetera, et cetera. Docking, extra ball when lit. Uh, and then, of course, you have your, your rocket that is orbiting the Earth to the middle, and of course, you're trying to splash down. Uh, beyond that, it's traditional setup on this play field. You, you, the flipper gap's not bad. Traditional in lane, left, right. Out lane, left, right. And that's about it to this game. It's actually not a bad shooter either, believe it or not. It's just very, very in your face. So if you like Black Knight, uh, if you like Guardians of the Galaxy with the difficulty of the ball constantly being in your face, Apollo 13 is set up that way. It is in your face because as you see, it just keeps blocking. I will also say the rollover of the ball from the actual, uh, actual lane, the in lane, uh, it, it bounces actually off of your flipper, causing the ball to be a little bit harder to shoot. So be aware of that. Theme is not too bad. It's Apollo 13, obviously based off of a movie. Callouts are what you would expect, obviously, from a game of this age. It's, you know, callouts are good. They're not great, like they are currently today. Getting better, of course. Uh, theme is there. Uh, gameplay is actually there. Believe it or not, I would I would probably score this about an 8. I'd probably say about an 8.75 in that range. So anyway, take it for what it's worth. Higher difficulty, fun. Definitely a game you could buy for your house and, uh, and play it for years to come. But anyway, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, signing off. Till next time. Thank you again for watching.